Ja. In the shop we go, guys. It's too boring to be sitting around in a, on the couch. So uh, let's get ready and uh, get creative in the shop. I'm gonna start with one of these guys. Little crusty thing. What are we gonna do? Well, I'm gonna show you. Show you a little something here. That right there is uh, Leatherman Original. And uh, that is the best can opener I have ever used in my life. I swear to God, this thing is awesome. And uh, I am going to try to duplicate similar. I'm not gonna duplicate it, but I'm gonna make a similar design with one of these guys. And I'm gonna make multiples of it because if you're like me and you hang out in the outdoors and you got tons of outdoor gear, it's nice to have multiples of everything so you can throw a little bit of your stuff all over the place in uh, different packs and different cook kits and so on and so forth. So let's, uh, let's get geared up. We'll get together a bunch of uh, tools that we need to get this happening and uh, let's play around a little bit, all right? Hang tight. So I traced it out and I drilled it. And you know what? I'm not happy. I'm not happy with the way the hook is coming out. I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna go around two here which is fine because this is 100% trial and error here. And this saw blade is quite difficult to cut. It was hard to drill into it, which is to be expected. I'm gonna try a different approach here. I really like to maintain the uh, the original design on this Leatherman, just because I like it that much. And I'm I'm working uh, with minimal tools here. I'm just gonna have a uh, small angle grinder, and uh, I'm gonna rig it up. Uh, with a metal cutting blade and clamp this saw blade to the bench we're gonna do this kind of crude yeah you know what i think this angle of approach is better than what i had going on on this other tip i'm gonna try this one here Yeah, I think it's going to be a little bit different. You can see on this one here, I had the tip angle, the, the point going in a different direction, which I could have reshaped it. That was the plan. But this stuff is really hard to work with. So I'm going to retry with this design here. See what I get out of that.
So that's a pretty rough one there. But it's a good start as a pattern. It's uneven, a little bit narrower on the tip than it is uh, at the other end. But it's okay. It's a, this is a good first shot at, first kick at the can, so to speak. This has to be a little bit more of a hook in here, I would say. Yeah. So you can grip the edge of the can better. That could be filed in. But I think I'm gonna scrap this one, but it's a good first start. And uh, quite honestly, I'm not sure there's that big of an advantage using an existing tooth on the saw blade. back in the shop for you I was always in the shop but for me I'm back in the shop my first attempt at the can openers I had to give it up duty called I had to go out and do some stuff but uh, I'm back at it now I'm gonna finish up my little can opener project and uh, before I get started I figure I'll uh, do a little recap tool wise there's my pile of they're kind of like blanks right now, all these can openers, right? All right, I'm trying to achieve a similar profile as this, like a hook set up here I'm from a, a Leatherman. And so far I'm using very basic tools. File, a couple of different files, round files, so I can get into the eye and get a good hook in there. A couple of different sizes so I can achieve different things. This is a simple angle grinder. I'm using no precision tools. So there's no band saws, no belt sanders. I did use a, uh, a drill and uh, I did do a little bit of profiling with the bench grinder. But today, Today, the finishing uh, product of this will be all hand filing everything. And uh, yeah, they didn't come out all the same. All right. Some are, uh, I've drilled holes in some of them for a lanyard. They're going to be like uh, disposable lighters. You know, you get a bunch of them and you throw them in your gear and your packs and your bags. Uh, tackle boxes, you throw them everywhere. This that's what's gonna end up happening with these little can openers. So we start off with a saw blade. That's what's left of it. I got, I still got room for a few more can openers out of this guy. I might make, uh, I might make a few more. We'll see. So yeah, I'm gonna reset. Uh, I'm gonna tip the camera down and uh, there's another one there. We'll uh, continue shaping these guys, and they don't have to be perfect. You just have to have a good edge on them to cut, a good point to pierce, and a good edge to cut. And uh, I got some, we'll probably, I'll probably wet sand them, get them nice and shiny, probably, which is kind of like being particular because these things will rust up just sitting in your bottom of your gear and your packs and whatnot. They'll get rusted up most likely but that's okay we're just in the garage messing around killing time
So far, my can openers are not sharp enough. I want them to be sharp enough to strike the ferro rod, and they're just not quite there yet. I'm gonna see how it's gonna be once I uh, file down the face of it. I got the, the outer edge squared up quite well, but until I get the, uh, the face nice and polished, I won't know exactly how well it's gonna strike one of these ferro rods, because ultimately what I want to do is replace the striker that comes with the ferro rod with the can opener. So this is gonna go in the lanyard. I'm gonna perform double duties. Let's do an update. My uh, can opener project come along good, but I discovered something really interesting and I uh, never realized this before, but my intentions were to uh, use these also as uh, ferro rod strikers. And uh, after doing some light polishing with uh, wet sanding, and I did all my services, including the, the edge. And I had it in mind that make, making a nice crisp square edge so I can easily strike a ferro rod. And uh, to my surprise, that didn't happen. Here's a uh, one can opener. And camera's probably not gonna pick it up very well, but I, I hand sanded this all around so it's not a mirror polish but it's it's polished up now here's a ferro rod let me try in frame here it won't strike and actually if i put it down on the bench and push hard I, i'm actually filing chunks right off the ferro rod which is great but it actually will not strike so what I discovered, I've had to go back and use a coarse file and run the file, a coarse file, on my back edge to roughen it up. Actually, it was actually too polished. And this one here, I roughed up already. We'll see what the difference is. So it's, it's striking the ferro rod, no problem. So the corner, no matter how squared off you make it and how sharp it feels with your on your skin, if you, you, you kind of, you know, pull your skin against it and it's like, okay, that feels pretty good. That actually didn't work. I had to rough up, rough up the edge, the surface, in order for this to strike properly. Let's grab the other one. Let's do a side by side here. Right? Here's a polished one. We'll do it again here. No way. And we'll grab another one that's, there's a one that roughed up here. Interesting. So we learn stuff all the time. So I'm gonna finish uh, my little roughing up job. I got three more to go. And then uh, we'll bring a can out here and we'll put them to the test and see how my little can openers will work on a can like they're supposed to do. Okay, stay tuned. 
Okay. Let's put these can openers to the test. I'm gonna move the camera down here and see what we get. That one seems to work quite well. Obviously the short ones are gonna be a little bit more difficult. Oh, maybe not, because that's a real short one. It's cutting quite well too. Oh, this one's kind of difficult. Oh, there we go. These guys are real shorty. You got to hang on to them a, a particular way by the looks of it. But he is cutting. Next. Some of these are kind of thin on the spine right here, I'll call it. And so I'm kind of worried if they're going to work or not. I'm, I'm kind of half expecting to have a, a couple of failures. But... See, this one here is cutting quite well as well. I was expecting maybe some of them will bend, but he's holding up. He's really short. He's going to be difficult to use, this guy here. I'm I'm guessing. Yeah, he's still cutting. Let's see what this guy does. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Well, that concludes the can opener project. I'm glad you guys joined me for it. The only thing I got left to do now is to uh, paracord these things onto some ferro rods and I'm done with them. Fun little project. These things sometimes it's just a matter of getting out of the house and getting something accomplished. Guys, thanks a lot again for hanging out with me. And uh, you have fun out there with your projects. Let me know what you're doing these days. I'd love to hear from any of you. Guys, thanks again. Have a good one. All right, you guys take care.